Hello again everybody, this is Steve, uh, coming to you with a somewhat early December update. Uh, I got enough stuff together that I decided it would be a good idea to do <coughs> do an update for you guys. So this has just been, hopefully be a quick one. Uh, yeah, right, I know. <laughs> Mr. Novelist writing it, they're doing a quick update. Uh-huh, sure. Well, I try. Anyways, yeah, or as my mom would used to say, or as my mom used to say, yeah, you're very trying. But anyways, <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I label this as part one question mark because I might have another update later in the month because this is a little early in the month to be doing an update. And a lot of times I don't do an update but once every two to three months. But lately there's been enough happening. I'm able to do more regular updates. Plus you guys have been getting some updates through my writing musings anyways. Uh, and I've got some other musings coming up. I've got uh, five on deck, I think it is. In other words, five published. Two more are pending, and another. Let's see, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Yeah, another six more that I haven't uploaded yet. So, what I don't cover here, and what I haven't already covered, will be covered in those as well. So they're a little out of order, uh, kind of my fault, but <clears throat> I apologize for that. But that, you know, as I've been doing this, I'm learning a lot about running a YouTube channel, things that I didn't know before. So I'm making mistakes, but that's fine. We all get to learn together, and that's the fun part. Anyhow, on to my uh, first point for this uh, for this update. Uh, if you remember last time in the November update, I mentioned I was reopening Patreon. Well, that lasted about five days, and Patreon very quickly reminded me why I left the first time. So I've closed down my Patreon, and I'm having them completely and totally delete my Patreon. I will no longer have any presence on Patreon ever again, period. Like I say, I wish I had remembered why I had left it five years ago, it don't, but thankfully it only took Patreon five days to remind me why I left five years ago. So anyways, just wanted to let you guys know that. Uh, if, if you guys do decide you want to support me, and again, I'm I'm not asking you to, just like I said last time, I'm not asking you to. I know some people you know, run out there and they're like, oh, I want to support, support you. How can I give? How can I do this? How can I do that? It's like, you know, those are the people I'm, want, you know, that I'm aiming at mostly. The ones that are just, you know, climb, they'll climb up the wall and throw money at you just to help, you know, help support you. And I appreciate people like that. I mean, okay, I'm being a little bit facetious on that, but you, you get what I mean. There's some people that, that uh, are willing to support you and, and it's, you know, and I'm not guilting anyone. Please don't get that idea. I'm just saying that some people, you know, some people won't support you. Some people will support you a little. Some people will support you a lot. It's just a thing. I have the same thing over in my prophecy site. I have people that are like, you know, I want to give. I want to give. How much can I give? You know, they're, they're basically put, they're really, really generous people. So I'm just trying to cater to the really generous people that if they want to help me out, just go ahead and, you know, buy one of my ebooks and that'll help me out a lot. Uh, even if it's only a couple bucks per ebook, it still helps me out. Plus, you get a nice little product in exchange. So, anyways, item two, uh, Jenna's journey. Uh, I started converting that one to uh, to an audiobook, and as I was going through it, I realized that how in the heck did this ever make it into publication? Because it was horrible. It needs a bunch of work. Which, at the same time, I look at the time and. You know the time in my life and when I published it, and the fact that I haven't touched it in ten years, you can imagine how much I've improved since then. So I looked at something that I thought was great at one time, and now I look at it and go, "Oh my gosh, why is this even in the wild?" <laughs> so, you know, and that's just a that's just part of growing as an author. You know, you can look back. You'll at one some point in time you'll. Uh, well, you'll, when you're first starting out, you'll look at your works and you'll go, you'll put all this effort into them and you'll get done. You think they're the greatest thing since Tolkien. Ten years on, you look at them and go, oh my gosh, burn it with fire. <laughs> and that's good. You know, I mean, okay, it may not be good in the, you know, in, in, uh, you know, ten years when you're looking at it going, oh my gosh, burn it with fire. But, you know, at the same time, you can look at that and go, man, I can't believe I've improved that much. So, you know, and on one side, it's a bad thing. On the other side, it's a good thing. And since I want you guys to have the best pro possible books, especially now that I'm doing this YouTube channel, which is holding me accountable on my editing. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you guys for that, by the way. Uh, 
because that helps me grow so i appreciate that but anyways i'm gonna be uh going in there and fixing that up and redoing that and then eventually i'll release it as an audiobook because I'm, I'm probably gonna end up doing that with all my books but uh just letting you guys know because i i think and i and i mentioned this because i think i had mentioned about bringing up jenna's journey but then after i started working on it i realized yeah this is going to need a pretty significant overhaul so i'm gonna you know i pulled that back from the list of stuff which if you're wondering where that's going to be posted that's going to be part of my uh short story fridays uh the short story fridays is going to consist of basically short stories that's the primary thing that i'm going to be doing however also among the short stories will be some of my novels eventually now i may change that up at some point and do just short stories on friday and what you know and in the slots where i'm currently doing musings and writing guides uh if i run out of those eventually which i will and i don't come up with anything else i will probably start posting uh chapters from various of uh, some of my various other novels uh earth fleet uh land of the lions etc like that and just start doing those monday wednesday and keep it short story fridays uh coming up this friday i have uh the gorlon encounter which is a fun little sci-fi first person uh narrated short story uh told from the perspective of one of the participants in the encounter uh, then from there I have, uh, oh, what's the other, what's the next one I've got? Uh, oh, Self-Inflicted Doom. That one's, that one you'll like. That sounds a little creepy, but I think you'll like it. It's going to be a fun one. Uh, then I have, I'm doing my pocket guide, Love God's Greatest Gift. I've already, I already had the audiobook made for that. I got, it was, uh, Love God's Greatest Gift, Mana. Trusting in the provision of God and what does it mean to be a Christian? Those I were pocket guides I did for my church, so I had professional audiobooks done for all three of those. Uh, the other ones I have not, mostly because they were too expensive and I can't afford them. Because, like I say, it's about twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars per novel to get that done. So, yeah, I'm that's why I'm doing everything with uh, AI voices for right now because I don't have that kind of budget. Now, if I suddenly win the lottery or get rich or you know somebody throws a throws a Brink's truck full of gold bars at me, then yeah, I'll go out hire hire professional audiobook makers. But until then, it's you know you and I and I know a lot of you or a lot of you guys out there are hurting right now. I understand that. I totally get that. And uh, I'll, I want to cover something about that here in a little bit. But you know, I know that you know because everybody's really hurting right now. You can relate to the fact that none of us have any budget really. And it's not just me, and it's not me being cheap. I just don't have any budget because. I'm trying to keep food on the table and the roof over my head. So, anywho. And again, that's not money begging. I'm just saying I'm on the same level as you guys are right now. So, anyways. Next item. Uh, <clears throat> oh, man. I start talking phlegm starts coming up. Anyways. Uh, I know. I just grossed somebody out. Sorry. Anyways. I have decided to leave MeWe. I know that was one of the three major... Well, four major social networks. Because I had MeWe, LinkedIn... Uh, uh, who's the third one? Uh, oh, Gab and then Truth. Now, as far as activity, MeWe was my primary one for a long time, but they've turned around and started shoving down, or shoving this really horrendous social web thing down everybody's throat. And because of that, all my friends have left for other platforms. Uh, some went to Truth, some went to Gab, a lot have gone to Telegram, some went to Signal. So it's kind of everybody scattered when MeWe put, you know, put down the jackboot so i decided that since there was only like three or four people left that actually participated in any of my posts or even posted on me we at all i just i left they're going to you know here fairly soon i think they said by december 15th they're going to enforce the social web and everybody i've talked to absolutely hates it it is oppressive they've caught well, this is them. I'm not saying that MeWe's actually done this, so don't take it as gospel truth, but they've said that they've seen MeWe censoring posts. Again, that, that's just what they've said. I'm not saying that that's what the case is, but I heard enough of it from enough people that I decided I'm done. I'm out. So, 
if you know and and if that's true poo, boo on them if it's not and it's just people fibbing then boo on the people people fibbing but i'm just saying that's that's one of many things that made me decide to leave so anyways i you know i figure you know if if i'm leaving i'm going to explain why i left and it's not just the social web thing there's been a lot of other stuff and people were leaving me we even before the social web thing came around it's just social web was kind of the nail in the coffin so anywho that's my reasons for leaving and that's the information i received which helped drive that decision uh i still have linkedin truth and gab left uh gab i don't post on much linkedin i had never post on that uh that what that will change eventually the uh right now linkedin is primarily there for uh for work related stuff but if, i also have it for the writing i just haven't done anything with the writing side of things yet but that will eventually you know now that me uh you know done and gone and out the door i will start transitioning more to gab to truth to linkedin i haven't decided how i want to get onto linkedin because that's that's not a normal casual social network that is like professionals we're talking suit and tie people so i have to approach that differently and i still got to figure out how i want to do that but i'll i'll figure that out and when i do i'll start posting there if you want to friend me over there please do because when i start posting i'll start posting uh pretty consistently but again that depend that depends on when i actually decide to start posting over there and how i decide to start posting over there anyhow uh item four telegram i've had a bunch of you ask me to jump on telegram i cannot uh, the reason being is they require you to have a smartphone there's work they're working on ways where you don't have to have a smartphone uh, but right now you are required to have a smartphone to sign up and I refuse to have one I've explained it in other videos why I refuse to have one uh, the TLDR for those who haven't heard those videos is they are a massive security risk and they are a fire risk and they are a spying risk a privacy risk uh, now I have a flip phone that probably has the same problem but not to the same degree that uh, smartphones do and who's gonna hack us who's gonna hack a flip phone I mean come on it's seriously who who, ha who would want to take the time and bother with hacking a flip phone when not many people use it which is part of why I like it because it's got such a small user base nobody's gonna bother with it so anyways uh, until yeah, until they solve all the problems with smartphones, I am not having one at all. Period. So that being said, I'm not going to be on Telegram until they can provide me a way that I can do it either view you know use their site either via the web or via an application, a sandboxed application on my computer. So, anyways, uh, last but not least, which I this this gets to the part I was mentioning before when I was talking about how all of us are struggling right now. Uh, one of the things I do, uh, and it's not well known, which that's my fault, uh, is the fact that I do charity giveaways. When I say charity giveaways, what I'm talking about is if there's somebody out there, it could be you, it could be somebody else, it could be anybody uh, who, you know, like I said, yourself or somebody you know, who would love to read my books but can't afford to. Uh, you know if you know of somebody who would love to read my books but can't afford to buy a copy let me know i'll be happy to give them a free copy and if you have if you have if you bought a copy of, uh bleh, bleh, bleh. try that one again if you've already bought a copy of one of my books you are welcome and free to share it with whoever you want to i'm not going to sit here and you know scream bloody murder and how dare you do that and you better give me your money i'm not that kind of person like i say the money that I get from you know people buying it online is there to help cover costs it doesn't completely cover costs and I certainly don't make a profit at this it's there to like say help cover costs and it also the other the other weird thing is it also helps with SEO uh, SEO and uh, where it appears in the rankings on uh, these various sites like Amazon Barnes and Noble and stuff like that because if you give a book away for free those companies uh, pretty much make sure it disappears. I can't prove that, but I've heard enough people mention about it and seen it enough on my own books that I'm pretty certain if you have your book up there for free, that 
the big companies are, you know, like Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and Kobo, and whoever else, are going to disappear that book. Uh, not not like it's going to be completely unavailable, but it's just going to be hard to find. Uh, I find that on Smashwords. I find that on uh, just just all of them, really. That you know, and that that I think is just the nature of the industry because you got to remember, they're there to make a profit too. So if you got a book to sell for four ninety nine, they're more likely to stick you at the top than if you have a book that's ninety nine cents. So simple economics. I'm not, you know, I'm not faulting them in the slightest. I'm just saying that's the nature of the beast. Uh, so that's another reason I have the prices that I do. The only ones that I have on there for free, for free, free, is my ministry books, and that's because it's I work with a targeted audience on that. So I'm not worried about search engine optimization or or anything like that with those because the people who want them know where to find them so that I'm not worried about uh, the only exception to the free thing that I have when it comes to those ministry books is the print edition uh, that's currently only available on Amazon although I, I will be correcting that in the near future once uh, draft to digital gets their act together and finally allows us to start pump or doing print books Come on, draft a digital. Get your act together. We're waiting. Still, but anyways, enough rant. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just like I say that you know, this is a hobby for me. Uh, the reason I do things is for a purpose. You know, like I say, it's not to grow. You know, it's not to be a money grubber. It's not to be a dumb fashion or not fascist. Was it? Oh, they like say a greedy capitalist is what some people like to say. I'm not being a greedy capitalist or anything like that. Uh, I do it because of a specific reason, because I want the most amount of people possible to hear about the books, to see the books, to read the books, and enjoy the books. So that, you know, that to me is more important than making money. And if, it, you know, and if I have to set a price for every book that I sell just to get the, just to get as much attention on the books as possible and get as many readers as possible, great. You know, I'll go ahead and set that. And if, you know, and in an ideal world, if I could set them all to be free and every single person in the world could hear about the books and read them and enjoy them, I would be happy, even if I didn't make a dime at it. So, and that's the way you should do your books. If you're an author, you should not, not like give them away for free. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is your, your goal should be to make readers of your books and happy readers at that. People should enjoy what they read. Uh, also, is one one small uh, side note. Uh, I did get a. It's not on YouTube or Rumble. I got a, this offline, uh, or not offline, but it was uh, through Slack. Uh, a review on my recently released "The Tin Cup Christmas Story," and I was actually pleased with that review that they gave me. Uh, it, they were very. They were very happy. They liked the they liked the fact that it sounded like one thing at the beginning, and then just kind of made a little right turn through, the, you know, partway through the story. And especially the they especially liked the ending. And I appreciate reviews like that. You know, I'm not like looking for a four star New York Times review or something like that from you, from you guys. If you give me just a hey, I liked it, I enjoyed this character, or something like that, just a little bit of feedback, I enjoy that. And I appreciate it, and I thank everybody who's done that. And if you haven't, please consider it. Uh, anyhow, let's see if there's anything else I need to throw out there. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, other, let's see, upcoming audiobooks that I have up for Short Story Fridays. Uh, I did mention uh, Love God's Greatest Gift. That's going to be done in four parts. Uh, was me to be Christian. That's going to be a single hour and twelve minutes, I think, or hour and two minutes. I don't remember how long it is. It's a little over an hour. But what does it mean to be a Christian? Uh, that one I'm releasing. That one's a good one. If you're a Christian and you want to reach out to friends and the family, that's a good one for them to sit down and listen to. And you can also get the free ebook and give it to them uh, to read if you want to. Lo love God's great or love God's greatest gift. Sit down. They're good one too. Uh, I also have uh, Ferret's Folly. You guys will love that one. That is such a cute and sweet tale. Uh, 
I have Tabby the Butler coming up. Uh, Mana, trusting in the provision of God, given the crazy economic conditions we're going through right now. Uh, I know that one will really, really touch you guys and encourage you. Uh, if you want to, if you want to get it, you know, get it ahead of time and read it rather than wait for the audiobook, uh, just go up on my website, realmsofimagination.net, and you can, uh, you can download a free copy of it there. Uh, it's an EPUB, Mobi, and uh, text PDF, and I think one other one. Uh, also, going back to speaking of ebooks, going back to the uh, short stories, uh, a friend of mine talked me into this, and I've added this to all of my short stories now. Uh, when you when the audiobook comes up on YouTube and Rumble, there will be a link to an included uh, EPUB. I'm not doing Mobi. Uh, le not unless you guys ask me to. I would prefer EPUB because Mobi, well, Mobi is an open source format too, but the problem is Amazon has adulterated it, so I don't like, I don't like dealing with it because it, Amazon's ruined it in my opinion, and I think EPUB's a better format anyways. Uh, but yeah, each of the books will have a link to the uh, e uh, ebook, EPUB version of uh, that short story in the, in the uh, description. So, well, if you want to, if you want to download it and read it on your e-reader, go right ahead. It's they're not long stories; they're like between thirty-five hundred and six thousand words, average across all the ones I've done so far, with the exception of the uh, the Christian Pocket Guides, which are a bit longer. But uh, let me think here. I know I'm forgetting something, and I do this a lot. Uh, I blame beginning my getting old. Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, anyways, those those will have the e the ebook version of them available for you to read whenever you uh or if you are interested in doing so um i think that's all for right now i can't think of anything else uh if i do, do think of something i'll put it in another update uh it might be later on this month it might be next month but either way i will let you guys know and as always, thank you for listening, and I really appreciate you guys being on my channel, subscribing, listening to the audiobooks, and please, like I said before, please, if you haven't already, please comment on my other videos, comment on the uh, the short stories. You know, I, I really, really do appreciate that, you know, all of that that you guys do. Uh, the, uh, any comments you can give, any feedback, uh, it's it's all very much appreciated. So anyways, uh, that's all for now. And I will see you guys again in the next video.